Working with a large amount of data in Excel using traditional Excel formulas can get a bit messy, slow, and limited, especially with large data sets. Well, Excel now allows you to use Python directly inside your workbook. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to get started with Python in Excel, how to convert your Excel data into Pandas data frame, how to filter your data frame in Python for a given criteria, and how to convert your dates to proper date values in Python. Let's get it started. To use Python in Excel, first you need to convert your cell to a Python cell. Select the cell, type equal pi, and press the tab key on your keyboard. You will see pi on the left hand side of the cell, and you can start writing your code. I usually type my code inside the formula bar. Expand the formula bar so you have more space to work with and start typing your code. The first step is to bring in the data I'm going to use. I'm going to call this data set, this data frame, df, equal to my data set is in the data sheet. When you select a table that you want to bring into Python, you will see the syntax, Excel, the range, and headers equal to true. And this is the address of your table. My table is a bit large, so I will type it manually, A1 to J10001. To run this cell, hold the control key on your keyboard and press enter. Then it will show that we have a data frame and we have this pi sign here. If I click on this, I can see a preview of the data frame. The headers of the table are imported as headers of my data frame. Excel cells containing Python code are processed from left to right across each row, then processed to the next row and repeats. If we have data and code in multiple sheets, the sheets are processed from the first tab to the last. I will start with getting some basic stats from the current data frame. In this range, I want to get the minimum, maximum, and the average transaction amount and a summary. Let's review the data we have. These are 10,000 credit card transactions. We have transaction ID, date, user ID, merchant, category, amount, and city state and zip code. I'm going to use the amount column. Python is case sensitive, so if amount is capitalized here, you should capitalize that in your code. I will start with converting this cell to a Python cell, so equal PY and press tab. Inside the formula bar, write your code. It's a very simple code. I'm going to use a data frame I created previously. I need to type the name of the column I'm going to use, which is amount. Amount is a text. It should go in a single or double quotation. Both should work. Then I'm going to use the minimum or min method. I'm done. I will hold my control key and press enter and that should give me the minimum transaction amount. In the next cell, I'll do the same and I'm going to get the maximum transaction amount. Pandas provides a ton of different methods that you can use here. I'm going to give you one more example here. You can use a describe method. Control and enter. And this time you will see that we don't have a number in the cell. It shows series. That means we have an array. If you click on pi, you will see a preview. The number of values in this array. We have the mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum, and the percentiles. If you want to show this table in your Excel workbook, go to the formula bar. On the left-hand side, we have this drop-down menu, which by default show you the Python object, but I want to show that as Excel values. Click on Excel values, and you will get the table here. This is a dynamic range, so nothing should block your range. If I have some values in one of these cells, 
I'm going to get the spill error. So make sure that your range is free. Next, I'm going to filter my data frame for a given amount range. Create a Python cell. I'm going to filter my data frame. So data frame should be here. I can assign this to a variable name in case I'm going to use that later. I'm going to call this variable, this new data frame, data frame amount filter. I want the transactions that their amount is above 800 and less than $820. So I have two criteria to filter my data frame for. For each criteria, I'm going to create a set of parentheses and this character in the middle. I need to use the amount column. And I'm looking for transactions that the amount is greater than or equal to 800. I'm going to use the same column. And I want the transactions that they are less than or equal to $820. You will get a data frame here. Data frame means we have rows and columns. We have a table. If you want to see that, you can click on Pi to see a preview of all these transactions. And you can see the amount is between 800 and 820. Or if you want to display that, you can go here and click on Excel values. This is a subset of the original data frame for the transactions that the amount is between 800 and 820. I don't want all transactions. I just want to see the transaction number or ID. So I can type data frame amount filter, and I'm just going to display one column, transaction ID. Next, I'm going to filter transactions for a given date. I want to know how many transactions we had in January 20th, 2025. I'm going to convert my date column to a proper date format. Data frame, date. Pandas have a method called to date time, which I'm going to pass my data frame date column. So this will replace the date column with a proper date format. Then I can filter my data frame. I will assign a name to this data frame. Data frame date filter is equal to, I only have one criteria, data frame date. I need two equal signs for equality and I can type my date here. Date should go in a pair of quotation marks and the date format in pandas is year dash month dash day the date i'm looking for is 2025 month one and day 20. here is a preview of the data and you can see all dates are january 20th i have a typo here in the name it should be filter here i can see all the transactions and the date for all of them is january 20th I don't care about the transactions themselves. I just want to know how many transactions I have. I can use the length function to count how many rows we have in the data frame date filter. There are 351 transactions happening in January 20th, 2025. In the last example, I'm going to type my start and end date, minimum and maximum amounts, and I'm going to write a Python code that can filter the data frame for the given criteria. Let's say the start date is January 15. The end date is January 18. Minimum amount is 800 and the maximum amount is 820. I'm going to start with creating few variables and reading the values from these cells. So start date is equal to I'm going to click on cell C68 to select that. End date is equal to, click on the related cell. Minimum amount is 800 and the maximum amount is 820. So I'm going to read the values from Excel cells. 
data frame filter is equal to data frame, a pair of brackets. I have four criteria, so I need four pair of parentheses. Let's just start with the date. I already converted dates previously, so my data frame has the proper date format. Date should be greater than or equal to the start date. Date should be less than or equal to the end date. Then we can filter the amount. The amount should be greater than or equal to the minimum amount. An amount should be less than or equal to the max amount. Here we're going to get a data frame. I want to convert that to Excel range. Let's go here, click on Excel values. This will give you all the transactions that happened between January 15 and January 18, and the amount is between 800 and 820. By changing the values here, the results will be updated. For example, if I type 900 to 950, I'm going to get the updated data frame. So we can filter a large amount of data using Python in Excel. 